Friday, March 20th, the President's News Briefing. Boy, this is a good one. Stay tuned. Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And what we're about to cover is the news briefing um, that took place today. So here we go. So today is Friday, March 20th. Just watch the president give his daily briefing on the coronavirus. 90 minutes of my life that I will not get back. A lot of good questions and very few definite answers. People, I'm going to tell you, we are not getting told the whole truth. Nothing like the truth. But walking the dog around the pole, we are chasing our own tails here. So this is what has come to at this point. First off, uh, some good news. The tax day deadline has been moved back. The Treasury Secretary said Friday that the, the, the deadline for Americans to file their taxes will be moved from April 15th to July 15th. So that gives everybody extra time to file your taxes. As the coronavirus continues to dramatically alter lives in the U.S., it also hit a grim landmark on Friday with more than over 200 deaths and over 15,000 confirmed cases. As of Wednesday morning this past week, March 18th, we had tested roughly about 57,000 people out of the 350 million that live in the United States. However, the U.S. testing capacity has slowly started to increase. Earlier this month, the CDC Secretary said the labs were conducting about 2,500 tests per day, but by March 16th, the number had rose to 8,200 tests per day. To put things in perspective, South Korea, which has been hailed for its rapid testing of its population that is about one-sixth of the U.S., tests about 20,000 people a day. Here is the problem. We are not testing enough people because the states don't have the tests. The three states that have the most tests are the three states that have the worst cases, California, Washington, and New York. China knew about this virus in early December from what the president did say. And we were told on January 3rd, per the president's coronavirus team, Mike Pence, as many as you may know, California and New York are now on total lockdown and only essential workers are allowed out. If you saw the news this morning, these places are ghost towns. The president a few days ago did enact the Defense Product Production Act into effect and he said today he is in the midst of using that at this point with certain companies he is not currently considering a nationwide lockdown that we all know is how China has put a stop to the coronavirus and any new cases. They do have these drugs. There are several different ones, but they have not been approved and tested by the FDA. And the president said yesterday during his briefing that they were approved. Now he is saying the drugs they have not been tested and approved. Not sure if they will work or not. It's a gamble we have to take. There may be side effects, quote unquote, is what the president said. So now us American people are going to be turning into guinea pigs. May take <clears throat> my take on the briefing today. It seems like it's the blind leading the blind. The president also said the death rate will be low to the American people. Well, we have not tested but a small fraction of American people, and we have already lost over 200. I would like to know what he considers low. Scientists in the United States are urging the president to do a national lockdown, as he was questioned many times on this because they believe that per the study of the coronavirus, we are facing to lose 3.4% of the American people, which equals out to 11 million people. Mr. President, that number is not low. Every time the president today was asked about questions of supplies, 
masks, ventilators, any type of supplies, he was sidestepping the question and just saying that they are working on it through the Defense Production Act that he put into effect. Mr. President, where are these products that the healthcare industry needs at this crucial time? Should have put the Defense Production Act into effect weeks ago and put it to work so we would have supplies at this point and not trying to make up time. Now they're talking 3 million people are going on unemployment as of next week and he has asked in from reporters about $1,000 being sent to every person to help them through this and if it's going to be enough and he keeps saying if not he'll come back for more from Congress. The president did admit that all supply chains all over the world have broken down and no supplies are coming in, quote, unquote. So that means that we, what we have here in this country is what we're going to have until the borders open back up. They did say they were working on trying to get cargo reestablished as soon as possible, but if you pay attention to what is going on on a global standpoint, that is not going to be soon since every other country that we deal with is going through the same thing and the borders and the uh, shipping cargo is at a standstill. The CDC secretary did say they want to ramp up to 10,000 tests per day this coming week. It also said that the governors, it's the governor's fault if they do not have testing swabs on hand or any other supplies, but the government did say the other day they were sending them out to, to do the states immediately. Our governor here in Florida held a news conference yesterday afternoon stating that they were supposed to receive on Tuesday 250,000 test kits and as, as yesterday's press conference they have only received 5,000. Mr. President, once again, where are the supplies? The CDC secretary also stated that the coronavirus is three times more contagious than the flu and lives longer on surfaces than other diseases. The vice president can only talk about the president's coronavirus guidelines for America, 15 days to slow the spread. That's all he talks about. As the president did state in the beginning of his briefing today, the 15 days to slow the spread they will evaluate at the 14th day and make further determinations at that time on what to do and what to put in effect. So for everyone out there watching this video, what they're telling you is there are going to be a lot more deaths, a lot more people getting sick, and you're going to be waiting over two weeks. If you look at the charts from Italy, South Korea, and China, by that time it could be a full-blown pandemic beyond our wildest dreams. It would be best to do a nationwide lockdown and stop this like they did in China. The president could not answer and kept sidestepping questions why even the people that need the test can't get them. His response was several times during his briefing, he keeps saying, we will not test every American. That was not to question Mr. President. Okay, in closing, this is from me. My fellow Americans and YouTubers out there that are watching this video, what I've just brought to you was what happened at the 90 minute briefing today and what was said, I took notes. This president keeps sidestepping and misleading the American public in a most unhumane way when the American public is scared, frantic, and not sure what to do next. I think that he believes that with him giving everybody some sort of check, that is going to make everything okay. And if you look at it in one way, if you work and pay taxes, it's your money anyways. And the fact that they're going to be bailing out some of these big corporations, and there's quite a few of them, such as Boeing, and giving them $50 billion when we're in the middle of a crisis is hypocritical and makes no sense. So my advice to everyone out there is to make sure you keep up on your stock and your preps to the max. 
Try to keep cash on hand. Be very vigilant on what is going on because it looks like things could go down a road like we've never seen before in this country. I do not like to preach doom and gloom and I'm trying not to, but I am trying to bring you the things that are actually what is being reported in the news. But when I hear these things and I see these things and I listen to our president that sidesteps all these questions, one has to ask themselves what else is going on because we know you're not telling us the truth. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Everybody stay safe out there. Catch you on the flip side.